right, I can see you like to make a statement and we definitely are gonna make a statement, but we're gonna do it no so. Yes, no so. For all of my no so family here, you guys know I couldn't leave you out. We're gonna do this with two hoodies side by side, but we're not going to do any sewing. So let's do it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. You are in the middle of my Choose Your Own Upcycle Adventure series and we're doing hoodies. It's just like those books back when you were a kid, you know, Choose Your Own Adventure where you get to pick the end. If you didn't like that ending, you get to go back and pick another ending. It's like that. And if you missed the first video, I do have it linked in the description box as well as all the other videos. So you don't want to miss not a one, I promise you. And if you do enjoy this series and you want to see me do other things, Things like t-shirts, um, sweatpants, um, men's dress shirts, stuff like that. Definitely blow this video up, give it a like and share it on social media so everyone knows all the crazy stuff going on here. And that'll let me know that you guys absolutely love it and we will do more of them. It'll definitely make all this work worth it. All right, so let's do it. So I have two hoodies here. One is smaller than the other. Optimally, you want both the hoodies to be the same size, but I'm gonna work with what I have right here. I decided to pair this green one with this orange one because the orange one already I mean the did I say green good gracious um this gray one with this orange one because the gray one already has some orange accents and so for this project you're going to need two hoodies you're also going to need some grommets um I have used grommets on this channel many times before I have these two kits they come with these little tools that make it super easy to install them. And so any grommet kit is gonna have the little flat sides, the flat pieces, and they're gonna have the little pieces that have a longer edge on them. Um, and yes, that is a piece of soap in here because I use soap to mark. I use slivers of soap, you know, that piece of soap that's too small to use. I use that to mark off things. So it just ended up in there. And I will link these kits in the description box because I do find them super handy um, to have just on hand for whenever I decide to do a project. And I also went ahead and got extra shoelaces for this project. I showed you guys the inspiration. I could easily sew these and be done with it, but um, I don't want to neglect my no sew um, family. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is look at your hoodies and decide which side of each one you want. So naturally, of course, for me, I want both of them to have nothing on them. I just want the, you know, the basic. This symbol bothers me less than this one, but this shirt has some issues. It has some spots um, here and there. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this side of this one and this side of this one. Since we are doing this with no sew, you absolutely can cut the hoodie and fold it under. You need to make that decision before you cut. Fold it under and um, put the grommets through that way. You can also just cut it and keep it raw. So you have to decide before you start cutting which one you wanna do. And the reason you have to decide is because if you're gonna fold it under, so like this is the side I want. If I'm gonna leave it raw, I can cut it exactly down the middle and technically come out with two hoodies cause I could do both of them, you know. Uh, I cut it directly down the middle and I'll be fine. If I'm going to fold it under, I need to cut it further this way so that I have what we call in sewing seam allowance, so I have room to fold it under and it'll still come out as being on the middle line. Now, I think I'm gonna leave mine raw simply because of the hood, um, because I'm seaming the hood together. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do raw now. I can't go back and change my mind, so I just need to make sure that that's absolutely what I want to do. And then this one, because it's smaller than the other one, I and I'm using this side of it, I probably will cut it a little bit to one side. Um, at least, yeah. And maybe I'll cut both of them a little bit to one side just to make for absolute sure that I'm doing this right. I think I'm gonna go the safe way. All right, so let's get to cutting. So we're keeping this side. I have to keep telling myself that, otherwise I will forget. 
This is the middle. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off side. And if you are going to leave it raw, make sure, which I did not do, make sure you're making like really good cuts, which means you may not be able to cut through both sides at the same time um, in order to get those cuts to look really nice. Now we have one half of a hoodie. <laughs> now I'm going to cut like more on this side because it's sm a smaller hoodie. So we've done the damage. Now we got to make it right. Now we need to decide which of these is going to work. Let me know in the comments what you guys, what size you guys think I should choose. Oh, and if you don't wanna purchase more shoelaces, try t-shirt yarn. Just Google how to make t-shirt yarn. It's basically just cutting up strips of t-shirt and pulling it, and you can use that as well. I'm thinking big, what do you guys think? All right, so 28, that leaves 14 for each side mm. and I still got to do the hood will that work 19 and a half apart 19 and a half divided by one two three four five 19 and a half divided by five no I'm not going to do that in my head three and nine tenths Okay, so that gives me two extra ones to put towards this side. And that only gives me four for my hood. Ha, I'm tripping. <laughs> I got a whole lot more. Okay, so that changes everything. I have a lot of these. Okay, so 19 and a half divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, equals 2.78, which is very, very close to 2.75. So that's what we're gonna go with, two and three quarters. I just need to make a note of where the highest one is. All right, this one is gonna go here. This one is gonna go here. All right, to get them straight, I'm just gonna just draw a straight line between the top one and the bottom one. Now we can get to marking. What I really need to do, paper scissors. Yes, not sewing scissors for paper. 2.75. Now we can rock and roll. So now we can fold it under. Let me do it on this one first, this thick one. Fold it under, we make sure that we're folding it how we want to fold it. Take a sharp pair of scissors, fold it on the line, and you just wanna do it like that, and then fold it this way, and do it like that. If the bottom hole is not quite big enough, then you can get the scissors down in there, especially if you have sharp scissors with a sharp tip, and just snip it out a little bit, so that it is big enough to get this thing through. All right, and you keep trying because you don't want it too big. Um, you just want it just big enough. All right, now that we've done that, we can slip one of the shallow pieces over top of it. There's this thing that comes with it. Oh, and you're also gonna need a mallet. Um, you can use a hammer, but I prefer a mallet so I don't hurt myself. This bottom groove fits directly into there. You put that on top. Bang away. If you see that it's still not all the way down, you want that set all the way down. <laughs> all right, once it's all the way down and smooth, then you're done. Now you can see, look, I made that mistake. So see, since I didn't have as much fold, fold as the circle, that part came out. So when you're cutting it, you can actually cut, if you're gonna fold it over, you can cut more if you use big ones. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the big ones or the small ones, but yeah, if you're gonna use really big ones, make sure your fold is enough to go all the way past that. Otherwise you might get this. All right, so uh, let me go and do some more of this. Perfect. 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 
So what this one was doing when I did like this, it twirled and you don't want that. You want it to be set in there and not be able to move. I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of these and I'll be back. For the hood, um, I may not do the fold just because it's so thick um, on this one. I probably won't fold for the orange one. I will definitely fold for the gray one. All right, we have all the grommets. I want to say it took me at least like an hour and a half <laughs> to get them all in, but I watched the TV and it was fine, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can see some of them didn't go all the way across, but I was able to, you know, at least get them all in there. So yeah, other than that first one that we messed up on, we did pretty good. I think the top one, some of the uh, outside was like, I cut the hole too big. So just be careful, don't cut your holes too big. And I have my shoelaces. I have, I bought two pairs because I figured I was gonna need one for the front and one for the back. So we're going to just begin to lace them. Um, I'm just going to start one one way and one the other way. Not too tight because we don't want these to start to bunch up. And I'll probably tie that in a different way once I actually have it on. And just so you guys know, these are 63 inch laces. They're really long and I was really happy to find um, laces so long. They're for long boots. The cool thing about this is that, you know, you could do, you could really play around with the ties and do some cool stuff. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but it's looking pretty cool so far. So that's the hood. We can definitely pull it to make sure that it's tight, um, but not, but not like overly stretched. So we're gonna tie it in the back and I'm gonna rub off my soap mark and then we will try this baby on. All right, so that was super simple, although it did take some time. Before we see how it turned out, I do wanna let you guys know about my free Facebook group where you can share your upcycles with other people who are positive and just wanna get some inspiration and put their stuff out there in a safe environment. So check the description box for the link for that. And I wanna tell you about my upcycle class with the highest level of my membership group. So click that join button down below to learn more about that. All right, so let's see how it turned out. There it is. I am definitely making a statement and I like this one. I wouldn't necessarily wear it exactly like this everywhere, but I think it's versatile enough where it has possibilities for a lot of different things. And so I really, really like stuff like this. You guys know I like strings hanging down off of anything. And I really like to use grommets as an alternative to sewing because I can still throw this in the washing machine. That's one of my um, things that I ask myself when I'm doing something and I'm not sewing, can I still wash it? Because then it's not trash clothing and so even when I do things no so I want to make sure that they are going to last so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this definitely let me know if you enjoyed this one if this was your favorite out of the series and how you would do yours would you do yours differently let me know because you guys have some crazy amazing ideas once you watch my videos and I absolutely love it so yes definitely go down in the description box and see the other videos in this series and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and this is another hoodie that I've done this is the corset hoodie and I'll have the link for that in the description box as well and I will see you in the very next one because I know you're about to watch another one all right see you in the next one bye